Hey, what's going on guys? Different video this week. I don't have my normal camera set up. So this video should have been a vlog, but instead it's going to be a screencast. Just upfront about this, we're not going to do anything specific with my computer. I'm not going to show any coding or anything inside my computer. We're just going to talk through a couple things in this video as if it were a vlog, but I just have to do it as a screencast because I just have none of my equipment this weekend. All right. So with that said, just content wise, I've been trying to spread out my content well and hoping to like cover popular things that are asked and between explaining technical concepts or talking about software engineering, I still think the number one type of question that gets asked is like, how do I become a software engineer? How do I learn coding? What's the best language? Those type of questions. So this video is going to be about that. And I thought a cool idea to go over today would to be how to become a programmer. And this is not how to learn coding. This is not like what classes you take. It's just like my opinion on straight up, no bullshit, how to become a programmer and be kind of effective. All right. So I have four core things that I plan to talk through in this video. This can be a little live and impromptu. So bear with me. But the whole point of this is going to talk about how to become a programmer. All right, so let's just get started. Okay, first thing, we've already talked about this a lot, and it's just basic table stakes, but you have to learn how to code, which is a basic tool that every single programmer needs. It kind of goes without question, but we have to list it. Um, the number one thing you can do is watch my videos if you want to learn how to code. Just kidding. That's not what you have to do. So how you really have to code, just to summarize this real quick, and really watch my video if you haven't. I talk about it in more detail, but first thing to do is pick one language. It doesn't really matter what language. A lot of people ask, what's the best one for this or that? But if you're really a noob and just getting into this, all you have to do is pick any language and it'll be just your vessel for learning. And the whole point of that language, even if it's not your favorite, you just have to learn to code with it. So pick one language, it doesn't matter. Um, you have to also understand computer science fundamentals and computer system fundamentals. Many people just write code and they have no idea what the fuck it's, sorry, sorry, sorry. They just write code and they don't really know what's going on. But to be a really effective programmer, you really have to understand how a computer works. Like not only what you're typing, but how that those things get translated and how they actually get executed by your computer and why they're working. And that's some really powerful stuff. And you'll realize that if you understand those fundamentals, it puts you on some next level than people that just know how to, you know, write syntax or code. All right. After you do that, you can pick another language to learn. And also another important part of this whole process of number one is to get mentally frustrated and practice your analytical skills. Because at this point, like stage in the game when you're just learning how to code you really have to get into like an engineering mindset where you're confused 24 7 you figure things out by yourself people don't handhold you so all this is a process of learning and this stuff is just kind of as i said it's kind of table stakes to learning how to program all right so number one learn to code we won't spend too much time here but let's just move on all right next thing to do is learn frameworks and this is getting into how you actually become useful as a programmer. So at this level, you are not going to become useful at all. But if you do this level, you are going to become useful. So pick one framework that you enjoy. So if you like web programming, you could pick Ruby on Rails. Or if you want to do gaming, you could pick a gaming framework. Um, whatever you want, just pick a framework. And this is actually what's going to make you kind of useful to like real life if you know how to do stuff like this. Because this is what you know, 99% of companies need people that know how to use a framework. So that's part two is like learning a couple popular frameworks. And that really makes you kind of effective and practical to even hire in the workplace. Because if you only know how to code and you don't know number two at all, you won't really be useful yet. And once you learn one of these frameworks, um, learning other ones is much easier. Um, let me just write that down. So the key is once you pick up one in some kind of realm, whether it be gaming, web, or whatever, um, it really makes learning a lot of frameworks much easier in the future. So 
this is also really important and another important point that I want to make up is that you cannot go into this step without doing step one so if you try to learn a framework first before you know how to code you're not going to get much out of it and you just will probably be confused I'm sure you'll be confused and this is um, what a lot of boot camps do because the let me just talk about boot camps real quick the whole point of boot camps which they're really good but they prepare you to be useful at a job they don't prepare you to be a programmer they train you to be like useful at a job in three to six months by teaching you a couple popular frameworks so you can actually contribute provide some value to a company but they don't go into this stuff too much all right so like I said one and two you have to learn how to code I would actually do this first and then you pick some frameworks that are useful so you can actually make a difference all right let's go to number three uh, let me just fix a couple it's tough to type and speak at the same time so I just have some silly typo mistakes here but let's just move on it's not a big deal hopefully no one yells but okay okay so the third thing you have to do to be an effective programmer is to understand software design and what do I mean by software design but software design is like how you structure your code and organize your system that's pervasive across frameworks so let's write that down so what do you have to realize that learning many of these frameworks they're very application specific and they will promote that you do things a very certain way but that's because many people have contributed to this framework but along with using it as a programmer you have to also understand fundamentals between how to design software which goes across any framework so this is kind of basic things like design patterns clean code you should know that's right you should know how your test how to test your code this is a really important concept it all falls down to software design some people like to call this software engineering but it's kind of a realm that is so general that you're just expected to know this no matter what framework you're using so these are very general skills you should like basic design patterns you should know what they mean so just like builders factories observers template pattern you should know basic design patterns in software um, what's really important to note is that whatever software you're writing it's all it's, I guarantee you it's not unique people have been writing software for a very long time the applications change but the pure software de design problems haven't changed too much so all I have to do is do some research read some books um, really learn how to organize your software well like all problems we face in software really they've been solved before and the tough problems are actually dealing with people which we can get into later but in terms of software and designing software nothing you encounter is unique so just do your homework and really understand software design and that's my third point so let's just recap real quick but learn to code table stakes learn about some frameworks so you can be useful to some companies because every different company uses different frameworks and they will eventually hire based on people that are more proficient at one or the other and finally uh, point three is that just understand software design all right so last point number four let's do it my fourth point to becoming an effective programmer is that you have to learn some soft skills like communications not being sorry excuse me communication not being an asshole so let's just talk about this real quick I just want to reiterate that even if you're really really awesome at coding you can't assume that people are gonna to want to work with you or you'll actually be an effective person wherever you are like if you're trying to found a company and nobody wants to work with you nobody wants to give you money that really sucks if you're on a team and you think you're some hot shit nobody's gonna to want to work with you so even if you're insanely insanely good at coding if you don't have some level of soft skills I guarantee you you're not going to become a good programmer all right or a good engineer so my last point in all of this is that you have to have some level of soft skills so you can work well with people and produce better work so let's just just get into a little bit of details here I'm just write down some points here
So I have some experience with this just working with a couple different teams, but there's some insanely good coders who are just a nightmare to work with. And in the end, it's just overall, le overall much less productive. So you don't want to be that guy who is a nightmare to work with. Okay, so soft skills, other things. Um, you should be able to talk to non-engineers as well as you can talk with engineers. One thing that you'll always be judged by is your communication, especially with people that are not technical. You should be able to communicate just as well with a technical person as well as a non-technical person. Okay. Another point is learn how to write well. So writing well is also important for coders because if you code well, you should be able to write well, you know, consolidate, articulate your thoughts concisely. Um, but writing well is also really important and really a, a valuable skill for any kind of programmer. So write code well as well as write emails and messages well. It's going to be really, really important. Last but, last, last but not least, um, I just want to make the point that these soft skills come with time and experience and this is why you get internships and jobs pretty much like you cannot read a book or kind of watch so many videos or listen to me talk to really good get good at soft skills what you really have to do is try your best to get your foot in the door via an internship or some kind of job and that's where you really learn these soft skills once you have the experience and are thrown into some kind of situation where you have to work with people because number four is always the deal breaker if you want to make this a career so I guess I'm assuming that many of you are watching everyone has different goals right if you want to just use software as your side project and it's just your fun thing on the side you can screw number four it doesn't matter if it's just going to be your side job and your real job is like a you know pizza chef but if you're going to make programming or engineering your career number four is a deal breaker and actually, I would say that every single one of the points we've talked about is a deal breaker if you really want to be an effective programmer. So let's just review this real quick. This is a long video, but if you're still here, we can, uh, you know, just recap. Number one table stakes is that you have to learn how to code and preferably learn how to code with the proper fundamentals so you're not just writing syntax. So basic prerequisite coding is your friend. Uh, number two, learn some frameworks. Frameworks are what make you valuable at a company and different companies use different types of frameworks and they're very application specific. So just pick a couple frameworks and you're going to become immediately useful. Number three is learning software design skills, which are general to all frameworks and you really need to understand these to write good software. So framework or no framework, if you have good software design or software engineering chops, it's going to be really helpful last but not least we have the soft skills which we discussed in length but these really come from experience so i can't talk about this too much but this is a deal breaker for working anywhere even if you're going to start your own company or you decide to work uh, at anywhere but soft skills are super important and you need this to be an effective programmer and that's all I have to say about that all right, guys, this video has been really long and sorry for it being so impromptu. I just didn't have my equipment this week. I couldn't really write a real script and consolidate my thoughts too much. So if you're still here, I hope this video was helpful. I'm just trying to be super upfront about what you need to become an effective programmer besides just programming. Like coding is just like 25%, quote unquote, of how to become a really effective programmer in any kind of real life situation. So hope you guys enjoyed this video um you know i know it's really long but maybe just watch it again i hope i didn't rush myself but i'm coming up to this 15 minute mark and i'll have to cut this off at 15 minutes so please leave me a comment if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer them please like my video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see everyone next time with a more polished video okay later